my OA TV touring, and uh, I'm reinstalling the uh, primary clutch, the, the drive, drive clutch into the uh, unit, uh, slides right on, hand thread the bolt and the uh, bushing into the unit as far as it'll go. You don't want to use a, a pneumatic or a cordless uh, 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 torque wrench on this. You really want to do it by hand. Then you, what I did was wrap a cargo strapping around it to act like a cam. Hopefully it's going to allow me to torque it down to 47 uh, foot-pounds. There we go. Okay. And there's 47 foot-pounds. Bingo. And you just back that off. Roundish comes off. Boom. Clutch is done. Clutch is done. Look at that, huh? Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, reinstall the belt. Since I'm this far along, let me get my clutch tool. So I come back over here, and the rule of thumb is you read Polaris. You know, these belts, these belts aren't one-way belts. If you put it on where Polaris is pointing this way, that's the way you got to take it on and off all the time. But the rule of thumb is if it says Polaris, that's the way it goes on. We're going to get it around the driven, and then we're going to work it onto the, uh, the secondary clutch here. Uh, open that baby up. Coming around here, you kind of got to just take your time with it. You got to be real careful. You don't want to mess your belt up. So, of course, they don't make this very easy to do as it is. So, you just bring it on around, keeping an eye on your belt, keeping an eye on your belt. Bring it around, open it up a little bit again, bring it around, there you go. We're going to spin it by hand, spin it by hand, get it to relax back in there. There we go. I've already taken the uh, secondary off and checked the spring and the rollers and stuff. That's all still good. Now we've... Uh, Got the uh, uh, primary back on, fully inspected, good to go, they said. I'm ready to put my cover on. Easy peasy, anybody with uh, uh, that wants to bust a couple of knuckles. Uh, I don't have any automotive experience or experience on uh, working on things except for more than just figuring out how to do it, watching the videos on the internet to see the guys that are making the mistakes and not to make those mistakes. And, uh, you know, I found that it very informative. Rocky Mountain ATV, SLP, Super ATV, all these people. Uh, 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 a lot of the uh, uh, parts companies have videos on how to do these types of repairs to your rig. It's no big deal. There's not really any need to to take your rig to a dealer and have them do it when you can easily just do it in a matter of, a, of an hour or two in your garage and not really have any fuss about it. So, thanks for tuning in. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.